shout out to Fat Meets Fire for my sweet tank top. Headed to the gym right now, guys. As you can tell, I took kind of like a seven day hiatus off after the competition, just decided to kind of take a chill pill and just like do nothing for a little while. But what happened in that time was I started adventuring in vegan food and I realized that I'm an artist. I'm, I have a very artistic mind. I'm creative. I've dabbled in glass art and in glass art, things hit, you know, five, 600 degrees and stuff like that. So it's a very restrictive art form. And I look at veganism as vegan food and making vegan snacks. I look at it like an art form and the only restriction is what ingredients you can use. And there's really no one getting hurt. You don't get burned, nothing happens like that. I've played with so many different art forms and vegan food is a very safe, very easy one. And every single dish that you make, it's a good thing. It's gonna help people, it's gonna educate people on vegetarian, on, on eating vegan food. And so that's good. Me personally, I am not necessarily converting to veganism, but I am taking up the vegan art form. That's how I'm looking at it, and that's how I want people to look at it as well. I want people to look at it as a positive thing, not a negative thing. A lot of people, stay, they stay away from veganism and eating vegan foods on their, on their YouTube channels, on their social media, because they're afraid of the vegan Nazis. They're afraid of people coming in and commenting all sorts of like super critical things. But I want to stop that. I want to like, I want to have comments that are educational. I want positive, people coming in and leaving positive comments and educating people and realizing that every positive comment you leave will make people gravitate towards veganism. There are people out there that just are vegans that lead by example, like my brother, and they just kind of eat vegan food. They don't necessarily profess anything. They just lead by example, and I want to do that as well. But I'm not necessarily converting over completely, but I am going to do what I can. So I'm walking to the gym right now. I'm going to hit, I think it's going to be a very compound, heavy back day. And then I'm going to report to you guys after you guys watch a bunch of really cool vegan meals that I made on my week off. Another little vegan creation here. I was walking out here to take a picture real quick for Instagram because I've been posting the heck out of these things on Instagram. and People are loving them. This is chopped up avocados we've got quinoa on there or as i like to call it quinoa and then we've got blue corn chips and then i put a seasoning on there it's i think it's grizzly joe's meat seasoning but it doesn't have anything non-vegan in it none of there's no meat products in there it's just like dehydrated onion and stuff like that boom next vegan adventure guys we've got ourselves a peeled banana i think it's like 135 grams we've got 50 grams of quinoa or as you like to say quinoa i say quinoa because that's how you spell it then we've got some mission yellow corn tortillas as well i'm heating up a pan i think i'm gonna cut this banana into slices and kind of like saute it and kind of make it like really really mushy and then we're gonna kind of have some kind of pre-workout taco here i don't know what else i'm gonna add to this though Our bananas here sauteing i just sprayed a little bit of olive oil in there just to make sure that they don't stick but they are still sticking and turning very very mushy so they're getting very hard to move around here you can see like very mushy. You have to be very delicate with this, so we're gonna see how that works out. Then I got my four tortillas over here. I'm flipping them on this here burner, and I'm getting them all toasted. It's gonna be delicious. I came up with an amazing one here, guys. I I, I don't mean I'm not trying to brag, but I feel like I'm turning into like a like an artist and dabbling in these vegan arts. These are just paint brushes. These are these are paint brushes I've been handed, known as in food ingredients, and I'm just painting a picture. What we have here is we've got a bunch of sauteed bananas, like you guys saw. I put some quinoa in there as well because it's kind of flavorless and so you can kind of put sweet stuff on it and it'll blend with anything. We've got those corn tortillas, I toasted those all up and then I've got one tablespoon of PB2 and some cinnamon sprinkled on there as well. This is going to be so freaking good, oh my goodness. So we've got 2.1 ounces of these blue corn chips weighed out. I don't know what the next ingredient is going to be, let's see. Now we have uh, 40 grams of black beans and then roughly about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of these mushrooms. In case you guys want to use the same salsa I'm using, this is the Sprouts Chipotle Pineapple and Green Chili Salsa. It is very, very sweet. I had it last night and it's really, really good. Okay, so now we've got the salsa in there and that's just kind of boiling in there for a minute. I can't believe all this is vegan, what I'm getting away with right now. This is really, really cool. You guys, this turned into an absolute masterpiece. This thing is amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Get it, man. You show them, man. Get down that street real fast. 
you shown. All right, so that was an amazing workout just now. I've been loving doing these workouts with tons and tons of fuel in my body, having calories to burn. I can like put a bunch of carbs in my body and not worry about going over on carbs and just get a sweet workout in, get a sweet pump. This week I'm coming in, I'm supposed to be sticking to that maintenance, but I'm letting myself go up to about somewhere between like 2,500 and 2,700 calories every day. I've been binging just a little bit. I've been trying to keep the binging to a low, to a minimum. It's really just consisted of like graham crackers, uh, graham crackers with honey. I've been doing um, halo tops as well. That was something I couldn't do during the prep because it was dairy and it also had like sugar alcohols in it and stuff like that and artificial sweeteners. So I'm stoked being able to do Halo Top again. I've yet to do anything like really well. I've had some Oreos a couple times, but nothing like really dirty like I used to where I do like an entire, uh, an entire container of Oreos or like a half a container of Oreos or something like that. And then I'm, I'm not doing those Pop-Tart shakes in the morning or anything like that. It's completely changing, guys. That brings me back to the, uh, the vegetarian food and stuff like that. So to address the veganism thing yet again, uh, I'm trying to just look at it like an art form. And it's something that, it's an art form that if I play around in, it really doesn't have any kind of negative effect at all. Now. If people decide to comment negatively and make negative comments and be condescending about veganism, then yes, it will be a negative thing. But the vegans out there, so far, my experience on my Instagram and stuff like that, it's been very positive. And maybe one day I may fully convert if I get it to a point where it's just the most, like at, right now, I don't see myself having the willpower to do it all the time. But I can damn sure tell you that I want to try and incorporate more vegan dishes in my diet. A person commented on my Instagram uh, a couple days back Every single plate counts. So I'm gonna try and do things one plate at a time of animal free food and see where it takes me. And your guys' comments are gonna be what determines that. If there's a lot of negativity and stuff like that, you're gonna force people to drift away from veganism. You're gonna force me to drift away from veganism as well. Now another thing I'm gonna be trying to incorporate is a little bit more, not so much power lifting, but more so like power building type type uh, routines and stuff like that. I am still gonna be doing some accessory work and stuff like that. Some weeks I may do a full accessory week and then some weeks I may do some more kind of like powerlifting stuff, more compound movements. I wanna build mass. I felt really small at that competition and I didn't feel confident on stage. A lot of people have been commenting, you didn't look confident on stage. And guess what guys, to be completely transparent, totally wasn't confident on stage, hated my stage presence. I didn't feel big. I feel like I have a tiny chest. I wanna work on my width. I wanna work on my width from the side, like rear delts and my mid back and stuff like that. I wanna be a lot thicker. So that's gonna be it guys. This is gonna be, I think the last Forging Colossus episode. What I want you guys to do is uh, try and come up with a name for the next series. I'm gonna be trying to build a big base. I'm gonna be trying to build that, that, that foundation that I've never had of like lifting kind of heavy, getting mass going, building building that swollenness that's what i want i'm trying to come up with a name for that series and i don't quite know what it is so you guys can help me do that go ahead and comment and i will see you guys friday